Okay. Okay. Great. So yeah, let's just uh, start with our usual roundtable check. So instead of me uh, picking the one who's going to talk, maybe you can volunteer. You can tell us how many you applied yesterday, um, and also if you're working on your <clears throat> EPF plan and also the weekly voting challenges. And um, yeah, you can just update us. And also we have an announcement. We will be um, sending out uh, jobs recommendations from uh, 10X, uh, maybe end of day today or, um, or yeah, or maybe tomorrow morning. So yeah, we will be um, applying from there also. So yeah, let's start with, uh, maybe let's just go alphabetically. I really can go first and then Abraham. And um, Abil, can you speak up? Okay, he said he'll write. Okay, how about Abraham? Abraham, can you speak up? Yeah, sure. Uh, good morning, everyone. Am I audible? Yep, yes, you are. Good morning. Okay, uh, so uh, yeah, yesterday was uh, uh, great. Uh, I have applied around uh, between uh, 25 to 30 jobs. I, I only remember the one that I have recorded. I think I have recorded 25 jobs on the 10 platform. So uh, yeah, the, the reason why I, I have not uh, hit the target is that, so in the past week I've been uh, getting uh, a lot of uh, rejection email for those jobs that, I, uh, that uh, are, uh, I have applied for uh, mid senior level and uh, hybrid uh, uh, hybrid and uh, on-site jobs. So uh, yesterday I narrowed down my searching criteria and I specifically was searching for jobs that are remote and uh, entry level. So uh, uh, the, the, that's why I, uh, I have not able to hit the target. Uh, yeah, other uh, than that, uh, uh, also, th there is a few uh, uh, people who uh, choose the uh, data engineering as a career path, and I uh, kind I kind of uh, find it a bit difficult to find a, a, a new job post on the uh, a job hunt channel, and that's also one of the reasons uh, why I have uh, uh, not hit the target. Maybe if we get a, a little help or the data engineering team from the 10x team that would be uh, great yeah other than that uh, i'm also working on uh, uh upskilling um i'm focusing on uh, uh on mysql i'm stu i'm studying uh the sql joint and doing some challenge yeah uh, that's pretty much what i am doing right now uh, that's it from my end, uh, Rodas, back to you. Okay, okay, that's great. So for the job recommendations, yep, we were also um, discussing with the team and that for did your concerns and yeah, uh, we'll see how the recommendations will turn out. So yeah, okay, that's good, that's great. So, and also how did you narrow down uh, the locations or like the jobs you're applying for? So uh, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, uh, so most of the rejection, uh, the, the reasons that they gave me on the email in the, in the rejection email is that uh, they, they are not willing to offer a visa or relocation. So that's uh, the main reason why I get a lot of rejection. And I, uh, due to this, I was only, uh, yesterday I was only focusing on uh, the jobs that are remote. Okay, okay, good. So even I, I saw some uh, job postings, even if it's remote, I think it requires uh, for you to be a US citizen or just a resident. Are you also looking for that? Uh, particularly uh, as uh, taking uh, our own advice, 
I don't advise. Um, I'm, I was only focusing on jobs uh, that are on Europe, like uh, from uh, Estonia, Lutinia, uh, like because the, 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 those are the jobs that have a high, high, big hiring rate from Africa. So I was focusing on mainly from these countries. Okay, that's great. That's really good. And we'll see how tomorrow goes. So what's yeah. your plan for today? Uh, are you catching up on your um, uh, on, on the challenges, on your plan? What's the plan for today? Oh, my plan for today is that I have uh, uh, two assessments that I am going to take. One, a technical assessment and a culture fit kind of thing. I'm going to take that one. And after that, I'm going to uh, start working on some challenges, uh, specifically on uh, SQL. Ah, okay, great. What are the assessments for? Is it part of the application process or um, is it like a cohort? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a part of the application process. So uh, after uh, the technical assessment, I think the, the, the recruiter team will, will going to review uh, my results and uh, uh, with my CV. And if I'm qualified, we'll proceed to uh, take uh, the thing uh, for interview. Okay, this is great. This is really good. Um, yeah, okay, that's good. So next, who's going next? Guys, come on, you should be, you should be uh, speaking voluntarily. Okay, then I'll pick the next person to go. Um, Abdul Hamid, Abdul Hamid, can you speak up? I've written down the questions. Let me uh, send it again since you joined late. Here you go. Uh, Dynamit, can you update us on your progress? And also, can you speak up? Yeah. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm just checking the message right now. Okay. So the, uh, I applied around um seven or eight jobs yesterday and one of my brokers were um i guess not really finding jobs that matched uh, with uh, my um, expectations um mostly this has to do with uh, with it being uh, most jobs are um looking for people that do have some experience with machine learning. So I started to take a course on machine learning to uh, scale up and actually have some sort of a background on that. And what skills do I think I've progressed on? So yeah, like I said, I've started taking a course on the machine learning and uh, I think I'm starting to have a, a pretty good base for uh so for the machine learning part and well, my plan for this week is to continue along with those courses and also with uh, coding challenges yeah that's it okay yeah okay that's good but <clears throat> sorry um so honestly i don't know like why are you applying to like seven to eight jobs per day like is it really you're not finding a job or you you don't know where to look for a job like could like could you like tell me what's really blocking you yeah so actually i've been looking for jobs mostly on linkedin and then i i started to look for on a website called glassdoor like i said most of the job applications i was trying to follow the generative ai uh, career paths and those require to a certain degree some experience with machine learning concepts that's why i decided to uh, have a little bit of a background on the machine learning part and to actually start taking a course with that and i think it's progressing good so far so i'm hoping i will be um, starting to ramp up the number of uh, number of applications i i will be uh, applying to um, okay okay 
So which course are you taking now? So there is an Andrew NG. I think he's OG when it comes to machine learning. I'm taking it from Coursera. And so far, I'm enjoying it. Hopefully, um, I will have uh, a good base on machine learning. Uh, it may take some time, but I'm doing my best to um, digest stuff a little bit faster and have something to actually talk about if I do land on an in interview, which requires a little bit of a base with machine learning. Okay, this is good. This is great. But uh, one thing I would ask you to do is uh, use Mondays and Fridays to work on your skills, uh, be it Coursera, be it the Coding Challenges from uh, 10 Academy, or even uh, the capstone projects you chose. So, and use uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays to apply. So, uh, I mean, if you're Learning is good, it's really good, but if you're not applying, if you're not, you know, showcasing your skills, then, uh, I mean, it won't knock on your doors, right? You should be out there, you should be able to sell yourself to, you know, market yourself. I mean, there's no point if you're just, if you just keep on learning and not using it, you know? Uh, like, do, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, it's basically to build up my confidence, like I said. Uh, even if I do land an interview, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be um, passing the interview if I don't have the concept. So that's why I decided to actually spend some time on learning and have my base. Then if I do land an interview, I'll be a bit confident that I do know what the, patients, uh, what the answers to the patients will be. Yeah, yeah, valid. I mean, yes, yeah. But in the meantime, you know, you should be applying since most companies will reach out to you. Like we get, we'll get back to you after like two weeks, three weeks. So in the meantime, you should be applying and <clears throat> working on your skills as well. So yeah, okay, that's good. That's great. So what's the plan for today? Um, today, I th I'm hoping to continue with the course I'm taking and maybe do some coding challenges. Okay, okay, that's good. That's really good. Uh, so yeah, thank you, Abdulhamid, for the updates. Um, next, uh, next we have uh, Basile, can you go next? Hey, um, I'm sorry, there might be a bit of noise behind me. But uh, nope, yeah, yesterday we can, can clearly hear you. Yeah. Oh, all right. Uh, yesterday I tried to apply, although I did not get the numbers. Uh, I tried to apply to uh, a considerable amount of jobs, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, uh, try to understand how to find those jobs a bit better because uh, I have been. Uh, I mean, I haven't been getting uh, with the numbers that I would like to, so I want to improve with those. Uh, yeah, basically with that and uh, also alongside, uh, I am working on improving my Python skills because uh, most interviews also have uh, live coding challenges from what I am aware. So I want to be good at uh, coding with uh, with you know, maybe with Python in a very, uh, in a very professional manner. So I am doing that alongside uh, applying. So that's what I've been up to, and that's the plan for today. Okay, okay, that's good, that's great. Mm -hmm. So if you are asked from the Adludio interview, what mm -hmm. what lessons did you take, or what would you uh, what uh, would, would you have done differently if you knew the like how the interview questions went? From Aludio? Yep, yeah. Yeah, Aludio was really, uh, for me, it's an odd interview that I did, which is not uh, an area that I know well. So uh, probably the, 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 I mean, since Aludio uh, 
came through Khan Academy that was an interviewer, uh, I would not apply for uh, an ops position, ML ops or DevOps. That's just not my area of expertise. Uh, okay, 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 got it. So, what was your plan today? If you, sorry, if you, if you're going to repeat this. Um, just continue working on my patent skills, and if possible, I would like to get to that 40 number. So, not really apply, but just just fill up the numbers with the, with a few applications to get the numbers to where it needs to be. Okay. Okay. Great. How about the uh, weekly coding challenges? Are they helpful? Uh, how's it going? Um, they are, they are really, they did help me. Uh, I, I'm not, yeah, again, I'm not uh, very good at data structures. So yes, it, 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 it helped me to a certain extent, uh, uh, think more about the plan. So yes, it was, it was helpful. Okay. Okay. Good. So one more question. So what skills did you, do you think, uh, you've progressed on since the start of the job search phase? I think applying uh, is a skill on its own. So that could be one. And then a second one is I've worked on, uh, I've read on uh, prompt engineering techniques and I've tried to apply them. So prompt engineering would be one that I, I really wanted to uh, get to know because it's essential part of it. So that's one skill that I've gotten better at. Okay, okay, that's great. That's really good. Thank you, Basile, for the update. Um, okay, so who's going next? Mm, Magdas, Magdas, can you speak up? If you're speaking, we can't hear you. <clears throat> Okay, she said she right. Okay, good. Um, now, now can you go next? If you're speaking, we can't hear you now. If not, Miss Ga, now you can go next. Oh, okay, now already typed. Um, okay, okay, Ms. Gano, can you speak up? Okay. Good morning, everyone. So, yeah, yesterday I made around 26 applications. So, yeah, my name blocker yesterday was, so yeah, uh, last weekend before. So, I was not checking the, the location compatibility when I, when I was applying. So, yesterday, so yeah, I tried to do that. So, most of the jobs. I found, I think they are not accepting uh, employees from, from our area. So, uh, yeah, I don't apply for, for this kind of jobs. Yeah, because of that, I was not able to hit the target. Yeah, that's, I made around 26 applications and I recorded all of them on the 10X platform. Yeah, that's my update. And my plan for today is to work on the challenges. So yeah, uh, this week's challenge. Uh, I haven't, I haven't done much. So I will start today, and I will try my best to do most of them. Yeah, that's my plan. Okay, okay, good. So, uh, your main blocker is not finding relevant jobs. I think, right? Yeah, jobs. Uh, that that accept uh, employees from our location or. Ah, okay. So as Abraham uh, said earlier, you can search for jobs in like Europe on the areas he mentioned. And yeah, I think that would be better. And also I hope the um, recommendations from the 10X team will make things much better. So we'll just see how it goes. Yeah, okay. Okay, good. So, any other blocker um, on the coding challenges on your TPF? How's it going? Mm, yeah, on the coding challenge, I will start today. 
on Monday, I was not able to do much because I was doing some personal things. But I will start today. I will start working on my plans and the challenge to do. Okay, okay, good. That's great. Thank you, Ms. Gano, for the updates. Um, Yoftai, can you go next? And then Mubarak. I think, okay, Mubarak already helped. Yoftai, I think you're the last person to uh, update us. So, could you speak up? Uh, okay, good morning, guys. So, yesterday I've uh, tried to apply for around uh, 30 jobs and I've registered uh, 27 or 26 of them. Uh, that is a, a good number for me because in total I, ha I had around 35 jobs before uh, yesterday. So that's a big uh, improvement on my side, uh, I would say. Uh, and uh, alongside uh, applying, I'm trying to improve my SQL and uh, data structure skills. So I was working on that. Uh, yesterday and I, I will st still try to improve those skills today and uh, for the coming days. So as uh, other students uh, try to mention, my biggest blocker was uh, trying to apply for jobs uh, for a data engineer at uh, entry level. Uh, it was very narrow and uh, the number of jobs were very few. So that was a big blocker for me, but uh, I've tried to apply as much as I can. Thank you. Okay, okay, it's good. You've progressed well uh, compared to last week. And yeah, we will work on sending relevant jobs uh, latest by tomorrow morning. And yeah, that's really good. And also, guys, why are you not sending the jobs you're finding on the job hunt channel and also on your groups. I don't see any activity on uh, your groups. So can anyone tell me why? Basile, you can go first. Uh, yeah, honestly, I forgot. I was, I was thinking about hitting the numbers and I didn't really see any applications on, on there. So, uh, I just thought, you know, we're, we're, we're all just proceeding with uh, with our own teams. Okay. Um, Abdulhamid, Abraham, and then uh, Yoftai. Can you please let us know why you're not active on the groups? Abdulhamid. Okay, maybe he just uh, doesn't want to tell us. Okay, Abraham, can you go next? Uh, I think I'll, I'm going to also say I, I keep forgetting uh, posting it on the channel. Yes, my mind is occupied, you know, searching for the job and then putting it on the 10x. I literally forgot it, uh, posting it to the job hunt channel. Uh, that's why but I'll make sure to post it uh, uh, next time. Okay, okay, good. Then I'll make sure to be there uh, to remind you every now and then. So, yeah. Okay, good. That's great. Thank you guys for joining. So, any other questions, suggestions? Nothing? Okay, so how was the stand up? Can you like show me a reaction? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Okay, that'd be good. That's great. So yeah, I think see you tomorrow. Uh, yeah, and have a good day. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining.